Friends of Praiseworthy Ministry, this is John O'Shaughnessy. It is September 25th. Um, I'm leaving Indianapolis, Indiana. Just wanted to give you a video update. Um, the last week I've been in Michigan and Indiana. And for those of you that know that we're working on our third manuscript, I went up to Ann Arbor and saw our editor friend, uh, Ginny Emery, and we're about three quarters of the way done with it. It's going to be around 100, 120 pages. It's going to be about, um, well, this topic is going to be on the prophetic, what to do with the prophetic word after you get it, some timing issues, what's your responsibility when you give a prophetic word, what's your responsibility when you receive a prophetic word, and um, we may even do a workbook with it. So I'll be praying about that. Um, was in Muncie, Indiana, doing a meeting last night, which was Saturday. Met with some pastors and ministry leaders that I'm gonna be following up with. We did a little prophetic mentoring class and about 12 to 15 people came and everyone got ministered to and they're hungry for the prophetic and wanna hear God's voice. And I'm gonna be networking with some more pastors there. I think in two weeks when I go back there. Um, I also want to tell you about the Holland, Michigan retreat that's October 14th and 15th. That 15th that's actually, I believe it's all sold out. We divided it up into four sections or four sessions. Friday morning, excuse me, Friday night, Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, and Saturday night. And the Friday night is filled. And I believe we have one more space available Saturday morning, Saturday afternoon, one more space, and Saturday evening, one more space. So if you're interested, um, email me at praiseworthyministry at kc.rr.com or find us on Facebook under Praiseworthy Ministry. Or for those of you that have my phone number, call me. Um, we're also looking to record before the end of the year, uh, two more teaching CDs. Uh, one of them is gonna be on pastoring the prophetic, and the other one is gonna be on prophetic maturation. So we're excited about those. I've got all my notes ready. I wanna go over and maybe tweak them one more time, um, and then have our friend do the editing and then get those out on the website for sale had a little interesting, I've had a series of dreams since I've been away from home uh, this past week, and one was on um, Indiana and Ohio, actually. We've never been to Ohio, but we know that that's one of the states that God's going to open a door for us. So I have this dream about Indiana and Ohio and some prayer points and some city assignments that we're going to be going to. So. I'll give you more updates as those become available, but I was really encouraged that God wants us to go to more places in Indiana and um, Ohio, and even this, this portions of Ohio that he's highlighting, so that, that was really cool. And then I had another dream, which was really encouraging. Uh, for those of you that know our four mandates, it's understanding the end times, prophetic mentoring, shepherding, and compassion. And you could read those, more about those on our website. We've got a blog there under our four mandates. You can click on it. And so in the dream, the Lord highlighted three areas that he wants us to be working on or focusing on probably starting in 2012 and um, three directions or new directions that he wants us to take. So I'm gonna be praying about that. And again, I'll give you more of an update as those become a little more clear. I'm a, more than a little excited. The Lord's been challenging me probably the last six or seven months to do more partner development with some friends that have known us um, and what our ministry does and who we are and what we stand for. So I've been greatly encouraged with the people that I've been contacting and formally asking them to partner with our ministry. And for those of you that know, you know, Carol and I are on staff at the International House of Prayer, but we also have Praiseworthy Ministry. Again, go to our website, praiseworthyministry.com, to read more about us. We have a, um, 
on YouTube, we have a channel called Prophetic Mentor. You can look us up there and see some of our see some of our updates. And I'm really excited about. Uh, for those of you that know about our compassion mandate, that's giving clothes and money to the poor in Indiana, Illinois, Missouri, and Michigan. And we're about to collect our hundredth bag of clothes. You know, those big, large contractor type bags. We're about to collect our hundredth bag and we've just kind of started this year small and really on a small scale basis um, been able to collect and distribute a hundred bags of shoes, pants, jeans, sweatshirts, you name it, to families in need. So we're always collecting clothes for that. We've got a warehouse up in Holland, Michigan where we stage the clothes and another one in Peoria, Illinois that's somewhat of a like a, a, a base for us as far as collecting clothes. We've also, with a compassion mandate, been able to help people uh, get some new appliances for their home and kitchen. And even this morning, I was just thanking God for the lives that he's allowed us to touch, Carol and I. And you know, when I go on these trips, Carol is home praying and fasting for me and for our ministry. And I so appreciate her and her skill set and what she brings to the table. And I was really encouraged. Again, I'm really going back to Kansas City filled up and encouraged. And um, again, I've had some more dreams over this past trip to Michigan and Indiana. I don't want to get into a lot of details now, but I had this one dream this morning where a friend of ours, who will remain nameless, is writing us a support check. And she said, I've read your books, I've read your material, I've read your books, I've heard your uh, teaching materials and I want to support you and then she says I've contacted some people in Atlanta Georgia and they're gonna be having some meetings down there so in the natural I know that we're gonna be going to Atlanta Georgia someday I don't know when I don't, uh, I don't know when that's gonna be so we're gonna start praying and fasting for Atlanta Georgia because I think that was a literal dream, literal dream um, so I'm again excited about that. I called Carol on the phone. She's like, yippee, yippee, yahoo. So, Lord, I just lift up every person that's listening to this little video update. Lord, I ask that you would encourage them in some way today, that you would um, uh, continue just to speak to them and open their eyes to the way that they can serve their neighbors and the people at work. And Lord, I just thank you for the financial supporters, for praiseworthy ministry. Lord, I thank you that, uh, you know, year 17 and we're still going and we're not going to stop. And it's by your grace that you've allowed us to do this, Father. And I thank you for the people, even in Indiana, that you've networked with us. And we're going to follow up with them and be a blessing to them. And I thank you for even the people that came to the little meeting last night. That we're excited about you and to hear your voice, Father. And I thank you for the retreats that are coming up, even in other cities. We're talking about doing, we're in uh, an infancy stage about talking about doing some retreats in Indiana. And lots going on. So, Lord, I thank you for your hand of protection that's on our ministry and ask us that you would just continue to bless us so we can be a blessing to others. And for those of you that I haven't seen in a while, Carol and I love you. We appreciate you. And um, again, go to our website, look around. Our son, Brendan, redesigned it, and we've gotten a lot of good feedback on it. And uh, we love you guys. Blessings. Bye-bye.